Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. The idea of these videos is to show you free indicators that you can find on TradingView. Here we are not going to sell you any course, paid indicators or anything like that, we will only ask for your support of the channel. We will be showing different free indicators and how to configure them properly to trade Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. We will use the signals that the indicators show to help us when trading and thus achieve the highest possible profit. The indicator that I want to show you today is a combination between a MACD and a Concord indicator. To obtain the same you can go to the GetHub link that I leave in the description of this video. You just need to copy the code and paste it into the Pine editor. We will use this indicator in a 1 hour time frame to operate quietly and in this way we will avoid looking at the charts all the time. Also, as we always mention, it is essential that you do your own backtesting in the time frame you use or feel comfortable with. For those who didn't know, the Concord is an indicator that shows the rate of change of trading volume between the strong hand, also called sharks, and the weak hand, called fish. The blue area represents the strong hand, if it is positive, this indicates accumulation, and if it is negative, it indicates distribution. For its part, the green area represents the weak hand, if it is positive, this indicates buy. While if it is negative, it is indicating a sale. The brown area indicates the trend of the movement. Finally, the red line is an exponential moving average that smooths the trend. We are going to configure the Concord as follows. We will not consider the brown area. When the green area crosses the red line upwards, we will wait for the MACD crossover to buy. I always recommend putting a stop loss of 1.5% to avoid possible tricks that the market makes and take them out of the trade. Also, when the trade reaches 1% of profit, I recommend taking partial profits, putting the stop loss at the entry price and letting the trade run. We can let the trade run until the take profit, or else until we see the MACD cross. For shorts, we consider when the green area crosses the red line down, and also when the MACD crosses down. Let's look at some examples. This indicator can be used in conjunction with some of the indicators posted in previous videos, in order to get more reliable and accurate inputs. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to see when we are trading live and when we release a new video. See you in the next video.